Today we're going to be making a dodging game using Scratch. So let's get right into it, with our player character. Here it is, it's just one sprite, I called it Grandpa, and yeah, it's Pixel Art. So let's get started, like every program, with a when green flag click block. Then I'll go to X0, and your program should do the same, and Y minus 95. Now, minus 95 is just what my sprite needs to be touching the ground, so of course you should change this in your own project to adjust. Now, this is important, you're gonna be setting the rotation style to left right. Now what this does is it won't allow us to move like this, but rather like this. So even if my direction is 178 right now, it looks completely normal. So now if we put a forever loop and a point towards mouse pointer like this, it will always point towards our mouse pointer. So our mouse pointer is here, it'll look there, and if it's here, it'll look to the left. Now we just need a bit of movement. So we'll do change x by mouse x minus x position and we'll divide this by 3. And this is a cool hack to make super smooth movement. So let's put that in there and you can see the super smooth movement. Now the next sprite we have here is ground and you really don't need to touch that. No code necessary. Next one is the duck sprite. So I've got a mini duck facing left, a mini duck facing right, and one which is silver and facing the left. We don't need a variation of the last one. Let's again start with a when green flag clicked and a forever loop. Now we have hidden this because we're going to be making clones and we don't need the OG one to stay around. So next we're going to be creating some clones. So just create a clone of myself. And in between every clone we should just wait a while. Not one second, that is just overkill. Let's just go for something like 0.35 seconds. And that's going to be making clones. And just to be sure, let's put a height here. Now let's create a score system. So just make a variable and call it score. Okay. And change that to one of these big variables. And when we start, we should set the score to zero. Now what should happen when I start as a clone? So we'll go to when I start as a clone, of course. And we need to have an option. Either it's going to be facing the left, the right, or it's going to be silver. So when I start as a clone, if I pick random one to five, so a one in five chance, if it's 1, I'll switch the costume to Duck Silver. And instead of if then, because we want the other two to be here too, we'll use an if then else. So we'll switch costume to Duck Silver, or we'll switch costume to, we can just pick it from right here, pick random 1 to 2. So in case you need a refresher, this is costume 1, this is costume 2. Now after this, we can just show the sprite on the screen, and then we'll go to X, pick random, minus 250, 2 to 50, and y 200. So basically what this will do is it will spawn our ducks every 0.35 seconds somewhere up here. And it should go down until it's touching our ground. So of course we'll use a repeat until and repeat until touching ground. So we'll just use a change y by minus 10. Then for some extra pizzazz and effects, we'll be having the ducks turn while they're falling. So if our costume number is the second costume, so the second costume is when it's facing the right, we'll have it turning to the right, else we'll have it turning to the left. And 15 degrees is way too much, so let's just do two for both. So what happens when it touches the ground? We need it to get deleted, so delete this clone, but before this we need an end effect. So if the costume number is two, or if the costume number is 1, then we'll repeat 10 times, change size by 5, and two other effects. So we'll be changing the brightness by 10, and also the ghost effect by 10. So it'll slowly get brighter and fade out. Now why did I only do it for costume 1 or 2? It's because we want the silver coin to be kind of like a currency, like a coin. So it's just going to be there on the ground until you collect it. Otherwise the game would just be too easy. Now let's do what happens if I'm the third costume, so the silver. So when I start as a clone, I'm going to use the wait until. So wait until touching player. And we're going to surround this by if costume number equals 3. And if this happens, We'll just change the change score by 1, and we can just duplicate this. Okay, so what happens if one of the birds hit us? We need some consequences. 
So we'll just go up here where it's repeating until the, we're touching the ground. If touching the player, we'll broadcast a message. It's a new message and we'll just call it game over. I have my game over screen right here. Looks pretty good. When clicked, we want this to hide. So we don't want this showing when our game just started. That would scare away the players. And when I receive game over, we'll just go to the front layer, show, and we'll end it all. Stop all. Okay, so let's try it out and see what happened. So the ducks are all falling down and all is well. When I hit a duck, I die. But the problem arises when I hit a silver duck. Now the silver duck isn't actually supposed to kill me. It's supposed to just be a prize. So here in if touching player, we'll just add another if then and if costume number equals one or two, it'll broadcast game over. Let's try it out now. You can see the silver ducks just dissolve when they hit me. So let me try to get a high score here. Oh, I died. Okay though, whatever. We got two points. That's well enough for me. And if you want to see another game in a similar pixel art style, then click on this one.